God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Monday, October the 5th. Today's devotional is based on the book of Jonah, chapter 3, verse 10, and chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. When God saw what they did and how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. But this was very displeasing to Jonah, and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord, is, th is not this what I said while I was still in our, my own country? That is why I fled to tar Tarnish at the beginning, for I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and ready to relent from punishing. And now, O Lord, please take my life from me. For it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Is it right for you to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city and sat down east of the city and made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade, waiting to see what would become of the city. The Lord God appointed a bush and made it come up over Jonah to give him shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was very happy about the bush. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the bush so that it withered. When the sun rose, God prepared a sultry east wind, and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint and asked that he might die. He said, It is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, Is it right for you to be angry about the bush? And he said, Yes, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, You are concerned about the bush for which you did not labor and for which you did not grow. It came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should I not be concerned about Nineveh, that, that great city, in which there, there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know their right hand from their left, and also many animals. So today's devotional from Daily Feast, once I get to it, one more page, was written by Claudio Cal Calvalis. We have to consider the ways in which God speaks to us and the ways we listen. For it is in this in-between space that our lives and the mission of the church come together. Jonah hears God's call and tries to flee. He does not want to do God's work, not only because it is dangerous and consuming, but also because he know, knows who God is. And Kavalas leaves us with this to ponder today. How do we know God's mercy? And where do we discern the marks of God's wrath in the world? Let us pray. Push me to go to those places where I am reluctant to go, where I am called to do your will. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear a mask in public, and practice social distancing. God bless.